sweet. Man, he ate that. That's another nice fish. Another one that come right out of those wood piles. That stump we got sitting right over there. Now that bait hadn't sat there for two or three minutes. This big old channel cat jumps all over it. All right, <laughs> we got three fish in the boat and we're trying to get things organized here. What a beautiful, beautiful Kansas channel catfish. I lost him. <laughs> Give me my fish. He with... fell off. Well, that thing pulled twice as hard as a silver. Look at this catfish. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to catch that. Nice fish. Thank you, fish. That's what I'm talking about. Get you some of that. The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Hey, welcome to the G3 Sportsman. You know, if someone mentions the state of Kansas, immediately I'm thinking deer hunting or even hunting for Rio turkeys. And I know that that state's full of pheasants. But what I did not know is that that state is really full of channel catfish. Now, hey, when I was told this, being from Missouri, I was gonna to have to be shown this. But come to find out, in a lot of the reservoirs down there in southern part of Kansas, they are full of channel catfish. Got him. Got him. Now to the locals here in southeast Kansas, hey, catching large numbers of channel cats is not really a secret. And for Mike Cook of Four Lakes Guide Service, He'd like nothing better than to let that little secret leak out. If you want to catch 30 to 40 fish a day in a boat, you know, Kansas is the place to come. He's fishing today with Jeff Williams of Team Catfish, and they're going to show us how they fill the boat with channel cats with all the new Team Catfish gear, and how you too can be successful in doing the same here in Kansas or on your area lake. Right. Oh, nice one. Nice channel cat, Mike. Look at him take off. Wow. Here you go. This one. Oh. Oh, double. Awesome. Mike Cook. He's not coming up. He's a big fish. He's a nice fish. I'm gonna need net on him, Jeff. Are you? You get a chance. Nice fish, Mike. You ready? Yep. Here he comes. No, he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Whew, what's boy, not to like about pull. that? He's stirring up mud right there. All right. Nice channel cat. Okay. What about a four pounder, five pounder? Right. Looks like he would go closer to five. Five pounds? Of course, I caught him, so he's seven. Yeah, Mike caught him, he's five pounds probably. So we had a nice double to start out with there today. Uh, there he is. Uh oh. Well, we're working on another one. That's what I like about the, the dip bait fishing in shallow water. When it happens, it happens real quick. You don't have to sit around and watch a pole for a long period of time. Just sit in one place for 10 or 15 minutes without a bite, it's time to move. Holy moly. They ate the bait too, buddy. Side of that, I'm on that side of that line there. They ate it.
Need net. Oh, we got to get the net on that one. Well, the net is actually wrapped up in another fish, so bring him up here, Mikey. Another one. Got him. Okay, Mike, you can't throw any more poles out for a little while, all right? <laughs> we got three fish in the boat, and we're trying to get things organized here. What a beautiful, <coughs> beautiful Kansas channel catfish. Ate the team catfish, secret seven dip bait, and uh, we got a nice sinker slide rig working for us right here, so these fish uh, don't feel the strikes, but shallow water fishing here in the central South Central Kansas, great. Well, I tell you, we are in one fantastic spot. When Mike said he's bringing us up to the catfish for us, he wasn't lying. There is cover everywhere up here. And these fish are laying in to the cheese bait. It does kind of taste like uh, cheese. Hey, today we're using the Team Catfish Secret 7 dip bait. Uh, people that fish with lots of dip bait usually like to fish with a big bucket like this, but this is also gonna be available in a 40 ounce tub and a 16 ounce jug. The black sponges that we're using here today uh, are a product that we call uh, the Furry Thang Dip Bait Holder. And as you can see, they're uh, very coarse and they really will hold a tremendous amount of bait. What I'm doing is I'm throwing it in front of that brush pile so that the waves take the scent into the brush pile. Oh, wait. Man, he ate that. That's another nice fish. Look at that out there. Man, you gotta get him out of that wood. Yeah, I've had customers tell me they say, look at that thing, it jumped like a bass. Well, they, ain't got, they can't go down, <laughs> they gotta go up. <laughs> and we know, look at the size of that channel cat. Man, that is nice. Here in the Midwest, come out here on a beautiful day in Kansas and catch these big old channel cats. Wow. We've got all this structure, as far as you can see, across this big mud flat here on this Midwest reservoir. And you don't want to spend a whole lot of time sitting on one tree. Got him. Beautiful channel cat. Another one. Another one that come right out of those wood piles. That stump we got sitting right over there. Now that bait hadn't sat there for two or three minutes. This big old channel cat jumped all over it. Here in South Central Kansas, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have you know, four great reservoirs to fish on. Cheney, El Dorado, Fall River, and Marion. And I target channel cat. Why do I target channel cat? They're the most fun to catch. Believe it or not, when a person can catch 30 to 40 channel cat a day, ranging from two up to 12, 14 pounds, that's a lot of fun, especially when you do it out of shallow water like I do it. This is these trees that get up, hung up on these flats. We're targeting in about a foot or two of water. And they're on all your reservoirs, so. You don't have to go to a particular one to find them. When you're in Kansas, you got the wind, so you want to leave a lot of slack in your line so that the swaying of the boat doesn't pull your bait off of that stump. And when a fish gets on there, well, he'll straighten that line out in a hurry. There'll be no doubt in your mind. You know, the boat's going to gently tighten and loosen that line. Fish, he's going to yank, yank, yank. He 
buried right in the wood. Come in here, catfish. All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's when those fish grips save your fingers. Scott, can you get a get a view of that uh, what those channel cat got inside your mouth there? And I I'll promise you folks that those dudes right there will skin your fingers for sure. Uh, blue cats, flatheads, channel cats, they've all got uh, a set of teeth in there that will for sure enough skin you up. That fish that we just caught uh, came out of shallow water. It's a great pattern that anybody can uh, fish on any reservoirs around the country. Uh, we're using dip bait, fishing shallow water. It's in October. The water's cooling down. It's just a great pattern that folks can look forward to year after year. Oh. Get him? Yep. He was down there at the 50 yard line too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still haven't got mine unhooked. We're working on another. You can hear mine flopping around there. We've got another double. This one's not as big. But he's got a tail and whiskers, so he counts. I him over here and I'll grab him with the fish grip. Nice he's fish. Nicer than I thought. Got him. All right. That's another one there that, that he ate the whole thing. He really liked the bait. So we'll unsnap that snap hook, take it off of the uh, the loop. Mike ties these uh, these uh, pre rigs up himself before he ever gets to the water, and it just makes it very very easy uh, to release these fish. Uh, this would also be a good candidate to uh, take home and. Uh, we release most of our fish that are uh, any bigger than this one, and we're gonna set this guy free today. When I'm catfishing, I keep it really simple. Uh, anything that I'm using, anything that I'm doing, the average person can go out and do. You fish the shallow flats, uh, you fish where there's a little bit of structure, and you just get as close to the structure as you can. Uh, if there's fish there, they're gonna eat what you put in there. And if there's no fish there, then you kind of get like I am right now, you get antsy and you wanna move like to that place over there. Enjoyable today going out with a, uh, another quality catfisher, Mike Cook of Four Lakes Guide Service. Uh, Mike is a specialist in channel cats and he's a specialist when it comes to, to dip bait. He's got some fantastic locations to fish uh, here in uh, southeast Kansas around the Wichita area. And I, I can't tell you how many fish we caught, but we caught a lot of really nice fish today. I'm going to go deep, man. You're going what? I'm going to go deep. Deep. Bait football talk. Uh, oh, yeah. Now that bait hung on there, that cast. I'll be plumb more out if I ever get a fish in from that distance. One of the biggest problems with dip bait is a lot of folks are used to slinging it off. When they give it a cast like that, it, it really slings off. And the team catfish bait has just been formulated to stay on the hook. You saw how far he threw that. Mike, how far did you throw that? Oh, 50 yards. I'd say close to 40 yards anyway. And hung on there really nice. Fish! Get him! <laughs> there was a fish out there too. You're gonna be fun more out there. <laughs> People think of catfishing as these big monstrous fish. Well, 
I don't target big monstrous fish, I target numbers of fish. It's a very simple fish to catch. Um, we target them in shallow water with dip bait. So many people fish for channel cat. Uh, you can talk to about anybody from Minnesota on down about fishing and most of the time those folks have fished for channel cat at one time in their life or another. I'll tell you, he kept it out there now. It's a long way out there. In the past, getting your boat up into shallow water like these guys are doing was risky business. If you didn't have a jet, you wouldn't even chance it. With the G3 tunnel holes, you get the best of both worlds. You can run anywhere a conventional hull boat can. And now with the tunnel hull design, which directs more water flow to the prop, provide maximum thrust for the engine, and the motor mounted on a higher transom, the result is a shallower draft. In a nutshell, you get the flexibility of fishing any type of water you so choose with the convenience of a prop motor. Pretty cool, huh? All right, this would be a good fish to, to show you. A little bit of difference we got here between a channel cat and a blue cat. A lot of folks have trouble distinguishing, but the uh, anal fins here on a channel cat are have a, have a round uh, design to them, and on a blue cat you're gonna you're gonna find that the the anal fin is straight, and there's a few speckles on this fish. You can really see them in the in the sunlight. And your blue cats are not going to have those speckles on them. Uh, it seems like the, the larger the channel cats uh, get, the more adult fish they turn into. They start losing some of the speckles or some of the camouflaging on them. But uh, that's just a good representative right there of uh, channel catfish. There's not a big hump on his back like a blue cat has got. And he definitely doesn't look anything like a, like a flathead. Okay, one of the things that you saw us do here when this fish was in the dip net, uh, we all know when these catfish get in these dip nets, they really like to roll and they like to tangle up. Uh, what we like to do, uh, especially on the big fish, is use a great product here. We've got the Team Catfish Fish Grip. Um, we'll actually take the fish out of the dip net and then we can release the fish, uh, do whatever we want to do with the fish, uh, manage it, take pictures with it, um, it's a great product for folks that don't like to touch, touch fish or kids that really don't understand how to hold fish. Got him. Hey. Yeah, we talk about the mud flats. That's the kind of mud that they're laying in. Their belly just, just covered with mud. This is easy for anybody to come out here and do. Just sight fishing this, this wood cover is a blast. Um, I, I tell you, Mike, uh, watching these channel cats swim off with those, with those bait holders is a blast. Oh yeah, when you set the hook and they come up out of the water, boy, that's something a lot of people don't see when they're channel cat fishing. It's exciting. They, well, they can't go down. They got to go somewhere, so they go up. It's exciting. It's exciting and it's simple and it's something that everybody can enjoy. He's going to make me get up, get the fish grip again. Mike, you're wearing me down. Hey, get that other one. Get that other one. Pull. My clients in general, they're going to go out. They're going to catch 30, 40 fish a day off my boat. You know, that's a fun day of fishing. Uh, you might not catch the biggest fish of your entire life, but I think there's a good chance that you're going to catch the most that you've ever caught in your life. And our slogan, Mark, that goes along with Team Catfish is Real Catfish Gear. Uh, we're trying to put together a uh, kind of the ultimate line of catfishing products that are still affordable and are still quality uh, for folks that want to get out here and, and fish. Now we've got a, a wide range of products from uh, hooks, bait, bait holders, sinkers. Uh, we've got a lot of things that a lot of catfish anglers can use, have a lot more enjoyable trip, uh, spend their money on some good quality catfish gear. Wrapped around our snagless sinker there. All right, Mike, way to go. Another good looking channel cat. Oh, 
Man, we have had one heck of a day, haven't we? You know, sometimes the best kept secrets are really right under our noses. I would have never thought of Kansas for catfishing, but I certainly do now. And if you're interested in your own fantastic Kansas cat action, then you'd best give Mike Cook a call at the number on the screen. And for all your catfishing needs, Team Catfish is still the number one source for all the gear and terminal catfishing tackle. But hey, once again, that's all the time they've allotted for us. Hope you enjoyed the show. Just remember, we'll see you out there next week, somewhere right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. The G3 Sportsman has been brought to you by G3 Boats. A great catch. The Okie Ammunition. What's your game? O'Reilly Auto Parts. The professional parts people. Shakespeare Fishing. Since 1897. Berkeley. Catch more fish. Longer Life Products. Keeps bait alive for days. Beretta. 500 years. One passion. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. I got her up in there again. <laughs> I may have a good day there, today. There's, there's another trailer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Embarrassing. That's what I've done to Scott's poor Yamaha motor. <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh well, we'll be have a cormorant roosted on this motor here before long. <laughs> I'm ready to move. <laughs>